hair is always so wild in the morning. <laughs> I literally pull my scrunchie out as I'm like walking in the room. <laughs> and I never know what it's gonna look like. Oh no. My shock sweatshirt. Okay. So <clears throat> I wanted to share something with you. Um and I should have brought my glasses. This is probably not gonna go well. You're gonna see me squint. <laughs> but I'm gonna to try to read it. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to ask you a question. Um, what prevents you from taking care of your mental health, like your mental well-being? Um, if there was like one word that you use as an excuse, like, a, you know, if, like here we are at 10, you know, at 7 a.m. for 10 minutes, Every day, a lot of you are showing up literally every day with us. Um, but if somebody were to say, all right, go do it on your own now. We're not going to be here for you. Um, what would be a word that would describe why you don't invest that time? Kind of like the negative. You know, sometimes people, especially during quarantine and COVID, um, either let their health slip um, gaining weight or eating poorly and um, not going to yoga anymore or whatever it is or working out or whatever it is that you like to do uh, for fitness and staying you know healthy um, mind mind too and every time I ask that question or every time somebody shares with me it's always the same word so I'm just wondering if you could just put in the comments Think of a reason why, what your excuse would be to not take care of your mental health, your physical health. Um, and I just want, um, I'm just curious about that. It's always the same though. Hey, Tammy. I don't know if you're typing. I know there's like a little delay. I knew it was going to be the first answer would be time. <laughs> it's always time. It's like the number one excuse that people have is I don't have the time. And last night when I, you know, was going to bed, I was like, oh my gosh, every morning I've been waking up at six for six thirty. I know it's like I'm suffering, but, um, you know, to come to meditation and I'm like, ah, oh, like I just need like more time to get ready and, um, and then, you know, thinking of the own, like my own things that like, I can't get done, you know, like, oh, I just don't have time. And I think we need to retrain our minds, um, to program it differently. Time is not an excuse. We, we have all the time we need for everything in life. Um, and I love this. I, I have to share this. It's from God Whispers. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It's a really easy read and it's called Elevated Thoughts. Elevate your thoughts to the level of your spiritual desires. Consider every word and image as teaching toward goodness. When negative thoughts enter your mind, observe them as if they are floating by like runaway balloons. Make your thoughts prayerful, worthy of your spiritual quest. And again, that's called Elevated Thoughts. And this is definitely my favorite book of all time. So let's sit up nice and tall and just observe if time was one of your excuses for anything you just don't have time know that we have all the time we need to get everything done we have time for our mental health our physical health if we don't invest in our own self, 
How can we invest in the lives of others that we love in our life? So take a deep breath in and open the mouth and breathe out. And as if we have nowhere to be and we have all the time that we need right here, right now. Focus on the breath. Observe the rise and the fall of the breath in this natural rhythm. Observe how we showed up here this morning. If there are any excuses, judgments, expectations that might prevent you from being fully present here right now, just observe them. And with intention, don't attach to it. Observe them, literally like floating balloons. We observe it, we notice those balloons in the sky and we say, oh, there's a floating balloon. But we don't attach to it, we don't create judgments. We just let it pass. Notice as you're focusing and bringing that one-pointed focus onto your breath, observe the shoulders, any tension or tightness in the shoulders, maybe just soften them a bit. Can you soften the jaw, the mouth, let the tongue release from the roof of the mouth. Observe any judgments that you stepped into for yourself, for this practice, this meditation, this moment. You have all the answers and all the power within yourself to heal anything in your life. of everything you need right here, right now. And it's accessible to you at any time you need it. It's always there within you. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and breathe out. And again, deep breath in. And full breath out. And one more deep breath in. Open the mouth and breathe out. Allow the hands to come together and bow your chin towards your throat. Elevate your thoughts here. Elevate the pattern of your thoughts.
let your thoughts match how you want to feel inside. Let your thoughts match everything you want in life, whether it's happiness, joy, peace, freedom, serenity, And then creating this intention for yourself, maybe your mantra just for today or this weekend can simply be, elevate my thoughts. And when you notice those thoughts creeping in, just use those words to remind you, elevate my thoughts. I thank all of you so much for joining me this morning. I'm so honored that you showed up with me. May we be healthy, happy, and together may we all find peace. Namaste. Hey, David. That's so nice that you joined. Say hi to Cody. I just saw your baby. I didn't realize how old she was. Oh my gosh. I think it's a girl. I believe it's a girl. Um, hi everyone. Hey Chris, I don't know if you're still there. Hey Christine. Elevate your thoughts. There's a question mark. Did you mean a question mark? <laughs> hi Doris. This is a really wonderful book. I highly recommend it. It's a super easy read. It's like, it's just like one of those books. It's like um, two, three pages for each chapter with um, a beautiful poem. And you could see I highlight everything. That's my kind of book. My kind of book is something you can read like three pages at a time and put it away 